Hey friends, welcome to Win Today. I'm Donna Amadon, and today we're going to talk about having a new perspective. A few years ago, our family moved across the country to Arizona, and as we were trying to find a place to live, we did not have the luxury of visiting the apartments ahead of time. We had to trust, and I mean trust those online pictures. And so we searched and searched online and found this beautiful apartment with sparkling pools and palm trees, and we thought, this is great. But when we arrived, we thought we had the wrong address. It was run down, the smell was unbearable, the carpet was filthy. It was not what we expected. Let me ask you a question. How many of us have ever had something happen in our lives that we did not expect? And sometimes it's a lot more than smelly carpet. Sometimes a relationship ends. Sometimes a dream that we had dwindles. Sometimes someone will mistreat us or even a child will walk away from God. And because we're human with feelings and emotions, these disappointments can put us into dark pits of depression and discontent. I've been there, and you may have been there too. You may even be there right now. But today, I want us to go back to the Bible and find encouragement to the words of a prophet named Habakkuk. Now, Habakkuk faced something in life he probably did not expect, the threat of destruction by an enemy nation. In chapter 1, Habakkuk says, God, why are you doing this? Why are you letting the wicked people take over? Now, many times we ask God why, don't we? And yet, as we read through Habakkuk, we find a breathtaking transformation happen in his heart. If we turn to the final verses of the book, Habakkuk makes an incredible statement of faith and dependence and hope in God. Though the fig tree should not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, the produce of the olive fail, and the fields yield no food. The flock be cut down from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls. Habakkuk is saying, even if destruction comes and there's no fruit and no food and no flocks and no herd, he continues and says, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. Isn't this interesting? For Habakkuk, Rather than looking at the insufficiency of his situation, he looked at the sufficiency of his God. To me, it's this picture of when we are in our darkest hour. We can have a heart that says, Father, even though things are not what I expected, I am not without hope. I am not without a source of strength or joy. I look to you, I trust you, and I worship you. Now, finally, Habakkuk ends with this powerful word picture. Verse 19 says, God the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's. He makes me tread on my high places. Picture it. Deer have this incredible way of climbing on hills and valleys and rocks and cliffs and with heights and depths and all types of angles, all without stumbling. They can place their foot right where it needs to be, even in the most challenging terrain. And this is how Habakkuk saw himself with God as his strength. Let me ask you, what are you going through today? What situation is bringing you discouragement or discontent? Here's my challenge for you today. Rather than focus on the insufficiency of the situation, focus on the sufficiency of God. Look to Him, trust Him, worship Him. Know that He loves you, He is with you, and He is the one, the only one, who can help you rise above despair and rise above discontent and make you tread on high places. Comment below. Let us know how you're doing. He is with you, my friend. Now go win today.